Tonight is a journey into the world of BroSys, and you're going to really get to see some of what the organization does. Uh, and who better to guide us through this journey than the award-winning journalist and speaker, author, and philanthropist, Soledad O'Brien. Soledad is the anchor and the producer of the Hearst television magazine program, Matter of Fact, with Soledad O'Brien a reporter for HBO's Real Sports and PBS's NewsHour, the founder and CEO of Starfish Media Group, and the author of two books. She also has four kids, uh, two of them are twins, I have twins as well. I'm not sure how she finds the time to do it all, but somehow she gets it all in. Sotodad has reported and anchored for CNN and NBC. She has won three Emmys, the George Peabody Award, and has been named by Newsweek one of the 15, 15, people who make America great, all right? Think about that. That is, that is serious company. Uh, Soledad also returns as our host. She was the host of Voices 8 um, and has also been a presenter. So please, we are super excited to welcome back and help me welcome um, Ms. Soledad O'Brien. Sean, thank you, Clara. Thank you so much for that welcome. It is wonderful to be back. And wow, have you guys grown. I so appreciate and value the Brotherhood Sister Soul doing truly the necessary and important work. And their work is inspirational. They are a shining example of the intersection between art and activism, the connection between direct service and organizing, a reflection of the importance of doing the work on the ground and using their organizing and their access to drive policy change. We need more bro -sis today. In these times, their work, unique, multifaceted approach is critically important. And tonight you're going to hear from several young people, alumni and active members, who have all been guided and been formed by BroSys. You'll hear a speech, you'll hear poetry, you'll see a video that features their commentary on the world. You're also going to hear from the leadership of BroSys. The event tonight is called Voices because BroSys provides a platform for all of us, all of us, to hear the stories and the experiences of young people who have overcome incredible odds and have healed and have become strong voices for change and for justice. So what is bro -sis for the two of you in this audience who don't know? I shall tell you. It was founded in 1995 by two seniors at Brown University, men who've been friends since the age of five, Kari Lazar White and Jason Warwin. And they saw a critical need. Yes, I think that's a very good place for a big round of applause. They saw a critical need for a program to help young people survive and thrive, a program dedicated to creating opportunity for children. Shh. And so they brought one into being. They had a vision as social entrepreneurs. They came home to New York City and returned to the very high school in East Harlem that Jason had graduated from only four years earlier. And then they made that vision a reality. At 21 years old, they founded and created not just a nonprofit, they built what would become an institution. 23 years later, that organization is one of the most highly respected and modeled youth development organizations in the entire country. Yes. And they have won so many awards for their leadership and their work that literally it's way too many for me to name right now, but I'll give you a short version. That list of honors includes honors from Oprah Winfrey, the Ford Foundation, Brown University, the New York Women's Foundation, and the New York State Department of Education. BroSys is an organization that serves 1,000 young people throughout New York City, more, and their model has been evaluated by foundations, researched by academics, written about in scholarly journals, and is replicated throughout the nation and overseas. Government agencies, schools, foundations, youth organizations that are seeking ways to reach society's most marginal young people use the model of BroSys and its organizational leadership expertise for vision and for guidance and for training. So what exactly is the Brotherhood Sister Soul? 
Their work is multifaceted and long-term. They work with children from the age of about eight until they are 18, and then continue to provide support until their alumni are in their 20s. Brosis is a place where young people develop deep, deep bonds of brotherhood and sisterhood over the course of their secondary school years, define their beliefs, work collectively to graduate, and pursue their personal goals. Brosis trains young people to become community organizers in the grand tradition. It teaches them to analyze the problems in their communities and helps them learn the skills to create change in society today. Brosis teaches young people about sustainability and environmental education. They maintain a 6,000 square foot community garden where they grow more than two dozen varieties of fruits and vegetables while managing a youth-run farmer's market that provides more than 30,000 pounds of fresh produce every year to 2,000 community residents. Brosis engages young people in the arts and technology and supports the youth in finding their creative voice through poetry and music and dance and the visual arts. Brosis offers its members guidance to help them gain acceptance into college as well as scholarships, the types of support that allows them to remain in school and graduate. And they have sent students to colleges and universities that include Brown and Bowdoin and Columbia and Yale and George Washington and Howard and Hampton and Wesleyan, Barnard, NYU, Wheaton, Brandeis, American, and more than a dozen SUNY and CUNY schools. And this year, they are sending 70 seniors off to college. Every single graduate from their program this year is going to college every single one. And that is because they understand the power of their young people being global citizens. And so for six months each year, BROSIS members study the culture, the politics, and the history of nations like Ghana and Brazil and Haiti and Cuba and South Africa. And they spend a month in country meeting with other young people who are serving nonprofits government officials, members of the U.S. State Department, learning about the complexities of the world. In all cases, BROSIS is helping young people develop the ability to use their minds well, to think critically, to establish a personal moral code, and to live by their beliefs, to find their voice and stand up for what they believe in, and to work hard to achieve their full potential. BROSIS is a national model and here are just a few examples that demonstrate their power and the national reach of their work. A few years ago, the Thrive Foundation for Youth in Silicon Valley conducted a national search for the most innovative mentoring organizations in the nation. And BROSIS was one of only eight organizations nationwide selected to receive a grant to support and amplify their youth development model. That's amazing. Around that same time, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, out of more than 500 applicants from around the nation, chose BROSIS as one of the 10 best programs in the nation serving at-risk young men. The Novo Foundation, which is Warren Buffett's philanthropic organization, supports programs creating change for girls and women, both nationally and internationally, and BROSIS is one of their lead grantees due to their intensive work empowering young women of color and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, one of the nation's largest philanthropic institutions, funds BROSIS as one of their model organizations working to advance racial equity. Two successful mayoral administrations, Mayor Bloomberg's and Mayor de Blasio's, have sought to use BROSIS as a model, and they count among their lead supporters people like, maybe you've heard of them, Harry Belafonte, the Manhattan District Attorney, Cy Vance, U.S. Senator Kristen Gillibrand, Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer, and so, so many more. Because they all know what everyone in this room knows, that BROSIS does the work that virtually no other organization can match. And they produce young people who speak out in so many ways. Tonight's video features the voices and images of the members of BROSIS. It focuses on their work to redefine manhood and womanhood, 
their critically important effort to help young people define what does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be a woman today? And then follow these definitions. What lessons are more important than this? Each young person at Brosis goes through this process, employing these definitions to guide their lives and to inspire them. So let's take a moment and hear from some of the members and alumni of Brosis. Take a look. At Brosis, our young people come together to define what it means to be a woman, what it means to be a man. The young people pledge to live up to these definitions. And this moral and ethical code is what inspires and connects all our youth. What does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be a woman? To be a man, you need to be strong, accountable, caring. A man is always responsible. A man is always brave. A man is always vulnerable. A woman is someone who is knowledgeable, passionate, unapologetic, resilient, tenacious, responsible, optimistic, compassionate, and smart. What I learned at Brosis was that being a man isn't all being all macho, and it's more so about just being comfortable with yourself. A man to me means one that respects everyone, most importantly women, one that respects his kids. To be a man, you have to be open about your feelings. Being a man is thinking about the people that you love and taking care of them. For where I'm from, we don't have a lot of men. We have drug dealers, people that can make crime, and we have a lot of fathers that don't claim their kids. I want to be a man. I want to be different. I want my kids to grow up with my affection. I don't want to do wrong. I want to break the cycle of my family. At Bro Sis, I learned that I want to be a woman who has integrity, confidence, and has respect for other women and myself. I want to be a woman who is inspiring, powerful, passionate, and badass. I want to be a woman who leads. I want to be the person who stands up for people who are not heard. I would like to be a man who claims his own definition of what it is to be a man, not what society paints it to be. I want to be a man that's gentle and strong. I want to be a man who respects women in all ways. I want to be a woman who lives in a moral and ethical way. I want to be a woman who claims my body as my own. I want to be someone who speaks up even when my voice shakes. In the future, I will use my voice to speak for those who may feel as though they are voiceless. I will use my voice to take care of my planet. I will use my voice to motivate others. I will use my voice to disrupt the misuse of power and empower my black and brown community. I will use my voice to unify people to make the world a better place. This is the world Brosis envisions, one based on our themes of positivity, knowledge, community, and future. <laughs>